Good morning. I've already had my tea for the morning and then I am just having some of the banana bread. I just put some peanut butter on it and an apple. Honestly, the brown sugar gives it a really nice taste. Um, so I actually think I would do that again. Um, so I'm just kind of eating and I'm also typing up poems that I've written before just because for some reason that's been actually really like relaxing for me and but I also love writing I always have since like middle school and I've been really loving that like for some reason like the my writer's block has gone away and I've just had like this re-energized like need to write and so that's been so helpful for me because it really gives me this like need to just write when I like just have things in my head and so I'm just kind of chilling right now but I plan to do some a lot of work today printing off things and just really trying to focus on getting work done today um I am meeting a friend on campus and we're just gonna study together but she's not going until after lunch time which actually that works out well for me I'm kind of thinking I might just go ahead and go at like after lunch too just because then um I can eat lunch here on at home rather than having to stress about like you know trying to go early and maybe the weather will lighten up a little bit because right now the weather looks very dreary and I'm not loving it so I'm just kind of chilling right now um I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do otherwise um you know I have some dishes to wash up and I would also like I think this morning I'll probably try to put like my clothes away that I air dried um and just do like those little things that way those are done so when I do get back from working on schoolwork I won't have to worry about that because tomorrow, obviously, I do go back to work, even though today I had off for President's Day. And I do not want to have to be, like, doing that when I get back. I want to be able to just come home and relax and chill. So, I am going to finish eating, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey, friends. I am now dressed. I have washed up some dishes. And I'm just kind of trying to figure out the next steps of what I want to do. Um, it's around like it's 10.43, so getting close to 11. I, um, I finished typing up these poems that I wanted to send to another writer that I really love getting critique from and also just love sharing stuff with. And so... Um, I went ahead and did that and it's also just been so enjoyable to actually look back at like old poems and really just see how far I've come I mean especially because like some of them are ones from like so long ago that you're just like man like I can't believe like where I'm at now um I am debating on whether I, I'm gonna make a salad and so I entered in a poem into a local museum here and I they like wanted to know if I wanted to write it on the wall and so I was trying to get another opinion of whether I should write it on the wall or whether I should have them just like print it out and have it like framed so I was really trying to figure that out I mean because this was like this has been this is honestly like my first like big event that I've ever like done because I've never really like the only other things I've ever done are like just like high school or like basic things from like when I was a kid so to me like this is a big deal and a, a great opportunity I'm even trying to see if I possibly could not have to go to class so that then I could go to the open house because to me this is like an awesome opportunity and although like yes I'm in the counseling program I will always be a writer I will always you know eventually I would love to get my writing published I you know that's just 
I'm a writer at heart. And so it really is an amazing opportunity in my mind. And so I am figuring it out. And I might try to put the clothes away too before I go. And otherwise, I honestly don't have a whole lot going on. My hair is drying, so I'm just kind of doing that. So, fun stuff. I will see you guys in a little bit. Also, if you've never heard of these bracelets, I have been trying to make sure to, like, be wearing it every day because I, like, kind of forgot about it. Like, not on purpose. It was just like that it was sitting on my bedside. I have this bracelet, and it's a brand called... Let me grab it real quick. It's called Follow, and it's, like, F-A-H-L-O, but, like, I feel like you would pronounce it Follow. And basically, there are different animal bracelets you can get. This one is a turtle, and so you can basically scan the QR code, and you can track where your turtle is. But there's also ones, I think, for a polar bear and for other animals. And this was something I was given for Christmas. I am, because I love to be sustainable and, like, eco-friendly, this was something that, um my boyfriend's family thought of to get me and so this one is it says meet esther esther is an adult female loggerhead sea turtle released on june 20th 2022 with a satellite transmitter after nesting on coquina beach she measured 91.4 centimeters in curved keras paste shell length and 82.0 centimeters in curved carapace with and it's like really cool because you can like just track it I like hadn't tracked it in a while so I decided to track it yesterday and it's like it had been going all over the place which is like kind of cool so I don't know I just thought I'd share that and it goes actually goes really well with this sh shirt so I will see you guys in a little bit um hope you guys are doing well bye hello friends we are making salad. I am just gonna make it and then take it onto campus with me. I have put together my greens and now I'm just cutting up an apple. I got more apples. There were no apples on sale this week, so I just got Granny Smith, which is my favorite apple. I am using the last of the Gala apples, which is the apples that were on sale last week. I personally don't love gala apples. They're just not like super like flavorful. And I'm definitely more of like a, I want a lot of flavor in my salads. But I um, am trying to, you know, save money when I can. And so I um, am just cutting up this and putting together this salad. And tonight is going to be the more, like, unhealthy meal, of course. But, you know, that's okay. I am debating on if I want to have the unhealthy meal or if I want to just go ahead. I mean, tomorrow, well, actually, well, so tomorrow night I'm going out to eat for my boyfriend's birthday. So he and I are going, and he and I and his parents are going out to eat. And... So I don't need to worry about dinner tomorrow night. And so I just have to figure out when I want to, I either need to cook my dinner for Thursday, for Wednesday and Thursday tonight so that it's like at least ready to go or either cook it um, or either like go ahead and, you know, cook it and, or either like wait and then just like not like I don't know I feel like it makes more sense to just cook that tonight because of the fact that otherwise I might be having to figure out when to squeeze it in and that trying to squeeze in cooking it can get very stressful so I am just kind of that's like I'm leaning towards probably just fixing like, the meal I was going to do was spaghetti, um, but now I'm kind of leaning towards actually going ahead and making spaghetti tonight so that I can still have, like, spaghetti 
um, for Wednesday and Thursday. And since tomorrow night, I am now not having, um, normally Tuesday nights I eat at home since I don't have class, but my class was canceled for tonight. So now I'm kind of like, well, got to figure out what I'm going to do. I did not buy wal- normally I like to throw walnuts in or some sort of like pecans or almonds, but I did not have- I did not buy any more and I was- I had used all the walnuts that I had, so I, um, think I'm just gonna be doing the apple, the feta cheese, vegan feta cheese. Right now, I've been buying the BioLife feta cheese and that is what I've been doing for, um, my- like salad cheese or whatever and so I'm kind of thinking we will probably just stick with that don't know if I want to add anything else maybe sometimes what I'll do is do like chia seeds or flax seeds to add a little extra like you know like fiber protein type of deal but I don't know whether I want to or whether I want to just go ahead and not worry about it. Um, I'm feeling definitely debative on that. Because normally I throw like a nut type of thing in, but now I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not sure. And so my other thought would be to fix some temp real quick. And we could have the temp. Hmm. Actually, I think we'll do that. Is we'll, I have some temp that I need to use up. And I've kind of forgotten about it. And it should still be good. So that actually would be a good idea. Is to go ahead and fix the temp. To add on to the salad. That way I'm getting some sort of protein in. So I think we're going to do that. And I personally don't like to add a lot of, like, spice to my, you know, I usually don't sauce it or anything. I just add some, like, olive oil or canola oil and then cook it as it is. So, I think that's actually a really good idea. Because, like, I feel like the chia seeds and the flax seeds can get really irritating. So, in this way, we have that and... I have multiple days where I am probably not going to be able to, um, I've got to figure out, get the pan, and I don't know what's up with, quite a day so for dressing today I have a blue cheese dressing and then I also like to make like an apple cider vinaigrette dressing but I have a recipe I normally use for that but this one is just a raspberry vinaigrette dressing and I decided to try this one and this one's just very basic and it does have some stuff in it but I figured I would try that um just because I I don't know why I tend to like a lot of like fruity dressings and so I think we're gonna try that for something different and I am sad that I'm not too happy that I do have to go to work tomorrow, but it's just, I don't know, sometimes I think you enjoy that day off, like, too much. Like, am I the only one who feels that way? I just feel like sometimes you enjoy that day so much that then, come when it comes time to, like, have to, like, go back, you're just like, oh, really? Why? Like, 
but that's just me. <laughs> Hello friends, hope you guys are doing well. I got a bunch of stuff done at the library. I don't know why, but the printing was not working, so I wasn't able to print anything. But I was able to do a discussion board and listen to a chapter and also read two chapters for um, a class. And then, um, so that's basically what I did. I really didn't do anything else. Honestly, sometimes like reading chapters just takes so much out of you that like you just don't have the energy to do anything else. Um, I will probably do like the quiz and the actual discussion board for the two chapters that I read tomorrow. And honestly, after doing all that reading, I just did not even feel like wanting to cook. So I am just waiting on a frozen burrito to finish cooking and I have been eating some tortilla chip and I was having like this pineapple habanero sauce um, with the chips but I like just kind of got tired of it. I was like honestly really hungry. Sometimes I feel like using all that brain energy just wears your brain out and like makes you like ready to eat. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. I am watching tv now just watching i like one of the shows that i really like to re-watch sometimes is called the good witch it's like on hallmark channel but that is one of the shows that i really like to watch sometimes i was actually like blasting music in my ears to keep me focused when i was reading chapters um yeah i feel like that's mostly everything that i have been doing and i am just kind of chilling I'm going to eat that burrito when it's done. I have 13 more minutes left. It was like, it takes so much longer in the oven, but it's also so much better when you cook it in the oven. And then after that, I will probably just chill until around like 7 o'clock and start kind of just maybe like reading a book and, you know, go to bed at like 8 o'clock. I, um, uh, for dinner, um, the burrito basically just has, like, rice and beans in it. I had a matcha latte earlier. I've been trying to really not drink coffee because, like, I'm drinking the jasmine green tea in the morning. And so I decided I wanted to get a chai tea, but they didn't have, they were out of chai tea. So I, like, quickly had to think of something else and the matcha latte was the like next best thing I could think of and I tried it hot and it actually like at first I was kind of like this is like sometimes when I first drink it I'm like whoa this is like not so fun but then it actually like got more satisfying as I kept drinking it and so I just had that and was reading and yeah well I will see you guys in a little bit and you guys have a wonderful night